Cyrus. King Galactic's evil boss, whose only goal was to destroy the human spirit, to start the Pokemon world anew with him as the true god. He felt that the world lacked perfection and that emotions held back the human race. Anyone would probably brand him as a pure evil tyrant. But what if I told you that he was forced to believe this was the only solution for him to be accepted by the world that had rejected him so much just for being different? Everything that we learn about Cyrus points to him to have this irrational notion that the human spirit must disappear and he will use the powerful Dialga and Palkia to erase all that exists. He strongly hates emotions and has become detached. Quotes such as, emotions are but mere illusions and like illusions they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all the emotions as useless sentimentality. Or, this world of ours is a crude one, in one word, it is incomplete. It has been and always will be a struggle to survive in this world. We humans in Pokemon are likewise incomplete. But have you ever wondered why is Cyrus so full of hate towards humans in Pokemon? What really happened to him? If you look deep enough within the games, in Platinum you can find some sort of an answer as to why he wants to end the world. And to be honest, it is a sad story that we can all relate to. You see, Cyrus was born and raised in Sony Shore City. He was a very smart young man, but was extremely shy. Some would even refer to him as asocial, meaning he would not interact with people or Pokemon around him. So much that people cast him aside and he found refuge in machines. Evidence points to him being lonely all the time. However, there were two people that he really wanted to impress, and that was his parents. But according to his grandfather, he failed to live up to their expectations, and thus the only people he loved had rejected him as well. You can find this information in a house located in Route 228 in Platinum, where you meet his grandfather and he says, That badge is from Sunny Shore's gym. You've been to that port town then. Would, would you lend an ear to this old man's tale? Now, I shouldn't burden you with this. My grandson grew up in that city, by the sea. Worn down by trying to live up to his parents' expectations, he found refuge in tinkering with machines. I wonder even now if I should have taken him in and raised him myself, though I'm not certain if that would have been a good choice or not. What would have happened if someone had approached him in his time of needs? When the world and his parents rejected him, could the world have looked not so bad if he had but one friend? Instead of his emotionless machines, he began to look at them as perfect beings as they had no emotions. They didn't judge him or expected anything from him. Humans caused him nothing but pain. And in the end, he was nothing but a crying boy wanting all of that to go away. Have you ever seen that one boy or girl all alone just looking down waiting to be acknowledged? Maybe you were that person. And if it wasn't for the friends you have now, the world would look so cruel to you. What I'm saying is give people a chance, no matter how shy they might be. Some have a hidden jewel inside them, and that is how I met many of the people I love today.